Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection. Uh, I haven't been on here for a while. Uh, the usual reason, life gets in the way, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, trying to get into it again, and the easiest way to come back is always just to do a haul video, because they're so simple. You know, just throw up a bunch of stuff that you've seen, uh, or that you've bought, and, and that's that. So, I thought I would do that. Uh, start off with uh, some stuff I got at uh, Book Off. Uh, and just kind of randomly in there because uh, it's been a while. This is the stuff that I've gotten in the last like month or two. So uh, let's start off with that. Uh, got Jackie Brown. This is from Book Off, uh, 250 there. It's a collector special edition, so I didn't have this one yet. Uh, part of the, the uh, Quentin Tarantino collection. And also at Book Off, I got The Professional with... Uh, Jean Reno, Jean Reno, and Gary Oldman, and of course, uh, one of Natalie Portman's first movies. Uh, I'm not sure if this was at Book Off or not, I don't think so, but it certainly wasn't at Best Buy for $54.99, it was a lot cheaper than that. Uh, season 3 of Heroes, uh, didn't have this third one. I got the other two on DVD, but this one was available in uh, Blu-ray, so I think I might have got this at the uh, library bookstore at work. This one I definitely know where it's from, but uh, not book up. Big Lots, uh, The Graduate for five dollars. They've got a lot. Uh, uh, most of you probably know this. They got a lot more DVDs or um, Blu-rays, I should say, at uh, Big Lots lately. So uh, and this was one of them. And River of No, uh, of no Return with uh, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, if you go to Big Lots for the last couple of months, they've had a bunch of uh, Marilyn Monroe movies on Blu-ray. For five bucks, uh, River of No Return, Bus Stop, uh, Niagara, uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, uh, How to Marry a Millionaire, Seven Year Itch, all the, the big ones. Uh, I've got most of them. I can't show you all of them because some of them are already filed in, the, in their respective places. But, uh, but here's one with Robert Mitchum. I think also The Misfits. You know, you still can find them uh, if you look around. Uh, some of them still have them and uh yeah i think they're they're worth it especially if you're a Marilyn monroe fan or even if you're not i uh, got rise of the guardians uh pretty good performances not the uh the best of the dreamworks one but uh but not bad either uh, i think he's played by uh alec baldwin he's always good Got Grimm Season 1. Uh, you'll find sometimes at uh, Big Lots, and they seem to have this more and more, they have these full seasons of TV shows for 5 bucks. Most of the time, unfortunately, they're TV shows that I'm not that interested in. Uh, Grimm I've never seen, but uh, a lot of people have told me that I would like it because of my interest in uh, sci-fi and fantasy and horror and all that stuff. Uh, but I've never had a chance to watch it, so I figured for $5 I can try it, especially since it's Season 1, the way to start off. There, let's fix that a bit before it falls. Uh, Drill Bit Taylor. Um, I was never really interested in this that much. Uh, Owen Wilson can sometimes be too much. But I came across it on TV and I was watching a little bit of it. And I thought, well, for three bucks, what I saw was pretty standard stuff. But it wasn't bad. So I thought, well, maybe I'll give it a shot. And uh, Mr. Popper's Penguins for $3.00. Is, I like Jim Carrey, but this is one of the uh, Jim Carrey movies that I've actually never seen before. So, that would be interesting to see what this is like. Uh, some people have told me that it's pretty good, so we shall see. And uh, here's Bus Stop also. That's uh, from Big Lots. It's another one of the uh, Marilyn Monroe films there. Uh, from, uh, let's see what else... Uh, Big Lots also got, this one I just got the other day, the Comancheros, John Wayne, add into my Duke collection. I hope I don't have this one. <laughs> I've got so many of them at this point. And I don't always catch up logging them on my, uh, my Weebly site, so, but I don't think I have this one. And uh, Silver Screen Icons, one of these uh, combo ones with Mr. Roberts, which is fantastic, and No Time for Sergeants, this Andy Griffith movie that I've always heard about that is uh, pretty good, so give that a shot. And then uh, over at Book Off, I don't know why. I don't know. I just, I don't know why. I thought, I'll try it. Whatever. 
Uh, this I do know why. The Bishop's Wife, a very good uh, Cary Grant movie with Loretta Young and David Niven. Uh, very, very sweet movie. Very good movie. It's good for uh, the holiday. And Bell Book and Candle. This is James Stewart with uh, Kim Novak, where she plays a witch. Uh, I've come across this on TV a couple of times, and uh, it's pretty funny, and I thought I'd finally grab that one. Also from Book Off, Zathura. Uh, this, I believe, is uh, it's from An Adventure in the World of Jumanji. Basically, the guy that wrote Jumanji also wrote the book, uh, Zathura. And uh, also directed, I believe, by uh, John Favreau, who directed uh, Iron Man. And Von Ryan's Express uh, with Frank Sinatra and Trevor Howard. I've been com coming across this one, uh, see it on TV, and uh, finally watched it there. And then I came across it a couple of times at Book Off, and I kept leaving it. And finally, I thought, I got to get it. Uh, Casualties of War. This is with uh, Michael J. Fox and Sean Penn. Uh, unopened for uh, 250 It's not bad. It's Sean, that's... Uh, Michael J. Fox trying to stretch as a dramatic actor. Calendar Girls with uh, Helen Mirren and uh, Julie Walters. Pretty good movie. Pretty funny. And uh, Helen Mir Mirren's still looking pretty good there. When Worlds Collide with a receipt from Book Off. There you go. Just so you know. See, I'm not lying. I got it from Book Off. Book, book Off. Eh, late. Why do I always do these late at night? Uh, I paid seven bucks for this one because this one's hard to find. It's uh, um, by George Pal. This guy also did the uh, War of the Worlds. And uh, I remember seeing this at the theater when I was a kid when they were showing it in a revival with, along in a double feature with uh, War of the Worlds. It's a special effects winner. It's, uh, yeah, really cool. I'm glad I, I, I was happy to pay seven bucks for that. And also, uh, Il Postino, The Postman. This is an Italian film. Uh, uh, pretty good movie. Pretty good. I liked it a lot. Especially her. She's like, wow. And this one, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum with uh, Zero Mustel, Phil Silvers, and Buster Keaton, and a bunch of other funny stuff. I believe this is based on the musical stage play uh, of some kind. But, uh, yeah, I used to see it a lot. The song a Comedy Tonight, I believe, comes from this movie, so. Yeah, glad I finally, finally came across that. Also from Book Off, Mars Needs Men. So they sent a woman, Devil Girl from Mars. Why? Because it's called Devil Girl from Mars. Uh, well, do we need another reason for that? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Uh, Biloxi Blues with, uh, Matthew Broderick, I believe it's Neil Simon. Yeah, Neil Simon's Biloxi Blues. Ah, pretty good movie. Christopher Walken's really good in it. Uh, everybody's really good in this one. Grand Hotel, a classic from, uh, Big Lots with, uh, Greta Garbo. That's her big, uh, big movie, Grand Hotel. Uh, Lionel Barrymore, Wallace Beery, Joan Crawford, John Barrymore. A lot... Best uh, Academy Award winner, Best Picture. So, bad. Season of the Witch with Nicolas Cage. Because, <laughs> why not? It's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Gotta collect all these weird movies. This guy's so weird. I love this guy. Blunder of the Sun with Glenn Ford. I've never seen it, never even heard of it, but I'm a sucker for these old classic movies, especially the older I get. Uh, even if it is full screen. Uh, but uh, it's just better filmmaking back in those days. These days it's less and less. And more from the Duke. Uh, the High and the Mighty, Hondo, Island in the Sky, and McClintock. I've got... Gosh, which one do I have? High and the Mighty. I think I got this mostly for I Island in the Sky and Hondo. I don't think I have those. Or McClintock, maybe. I like... Oh, I think I've got two of these, but oh, anyway, I'm sure you're fascinated hearing that. I wonder about things. Uh, My Life in Ruins with uh, Neo Vardalos, Richard Dreyfus. Uh, kind of, a, well, I don't know if it was a follow up to my big fat Greek wedding, but it's the one that she did afterwards, so and that's pretty 
funny she's like a tour guide. Wing Commander <laughs> with Freddie Prince Jr. I've never seen it, but I've always wondered if it's any good, so I thought I'd try it and see how it is. Little Big Man, this one I've definitely seen, definitely a, a really good movie. Uh, it's Dustin, Dustin Hoffman, Ray Dunaway. Uh, yeah, I always like this one. King Solomon's Mines, this one was on my uh, top 10 adventure of the 80s list that I believe was the last video I did before this. Uh, always liked the cheesy fun in this one, made by the guys from Canon, the Canon group. Uh, now i got to get Alan Quartermain, the uh, sequel. And, oh boy, I've been looking for El Cid for a while. Um, hard to find. I think even on Amazon, it's it's one of those that's either super expensive or out of print or just hard to get. Uh, Two-disc deluxe edition uh, with Heston and Sophia Loren, just looking beautiful. Uh, I love this movie. It's a great movie. It's one of the epics from back in the day. And I love collecting those epics. Uh, and one more thing that I got recently, and this one is pretty monstrous and epic. Godzilla! That's right. Criterion has put out the Showa era films from 54 to 75 of Godzilla. Um, for... Us Godzilla fans, this is a pretty big thing. Now, I've got most of Godzilla, the Godzilla movies on DVD. Uh, I think I'm only missing two from here. One is Son of Godzilla, and the other one is Godzilla vs. Mothra, which I was never too broken up about because I don't really like Mothra when he uh, is in a movie with uh, Godzilla because they always have this dumb moth and worm beat Godzilla, and I never really got that. But anyway... Uh, this is good and bad. I mean, it's uh, mostly good because it's cool to have these. Uh, they're in Blu-ray. I would have just as been just as happy if they were on DVD. I usually get the DVD versions of the Criterion. But uh, let's see if I can open it for you guys. It's got all this, this artwork here. Sorry about the glare. We're so professional on YouTube. Uh, it's basically a big book, and then it goes in each movie. It's got, uh, it's got uh, information about the film. Uh, the different films, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, and it's got these uh, uh, drawings here, it's all the way through there. Uh, and then at the end, it's got uh, the actual discs. Now, this is part of, part of the part that I don't like. I think a lot of people have, have said that they don't like this. Whoops. Uh, gosh, this is working out so professionally so well. Uh, there you go. Uh, this method of putting in the disc just flat out sucks. I'm really surprised that Criterion did this. Uh, they clearly have the room to be able to put it in the little clips here, so you can just put it in there like that. I'm not sure why they didn't do it, or maybe they fear that this would you know, bump with that. I don't know. Uh, but these are difficult to get out, and then you have to slide them out, which always can cause scratches. Uh, I've got a set of uh, uh, CDs for the Star Wars films that are like that, and over the years, no matter how careful you are, they get scratched. So uh, it's got all the movies on the different discs, and then it's got disc number eight. It's got the, the supplements, which are the documentaries and interviews and stuff and that sort of thing. I've pretty much decided what a lot of people who got this have decided, which is I'm just going to uh, buy some Blu-ray disc uh, cases and put them in those individual cases. Um, in any case, you know, I have no idea where I would put this damn thing anyway, because, it, of course... The great thing is, you know, yeah, you got the book, but of course the difficult thing is that where are you going to put it? You know, this doesn't fit in your collection. It doesn't fit. The size is, is too big. I kind of wish that they had just done like a regular size, like a big booklet and big case thing with a regular size that would fit in my collection. So it's good and bad in that respect, but I am happy to have it. Uh, since they have the, the Showa era here, I'm sure they're going to put out the other eras. For those of you who are initiated in Godzilla, there are different eras. And the first era, of course, are the original movies. These are the ones that I grew up with as, as a kid. You got the first serious one, and they, they get a little bit goofy, and, you know, he they get started making them more for kids. But that was perfect for me. I, I've always said that um, the tone has changed, and it that's fine. But if you're a little kid, the best way to get into Godzilla is to... Start with these, 
that are, are the more accessible for kids. And it certainly worked for me. So, uh, so I think it's great, but yeah, I am going to put them in individual cases. I think it'll work best that way to protect them the best. And then I don't know where I'll put this, but <laughs> it'd be kind of hard to figure out how to fit that in there, but still it's cool. The great thing about it, and for those of you who are interested in getting this, it's not cheap. It's priced at $224, but uh, I went now in November, uh, most of the Barnes and Nobles are having their half off criterion sale. So all the criterions are 50% off. Good timing. You go over there and you get this for half off. So you get it for like $112. That's even cheaper than you can get it on Amazon. So uh, if you're interested in, in this, definitely go to the Barnes and Noble now. I believe that the Criterion sale might still be going on, if I'm not correct, or wrong or correct. Or, uh, but check it out just in case. You have to ask for this. This doesn't fit in their section either. Uh, so you have to really go up to the cashiers and say, do you have the new Godzilla Criterion uh, set? And sometimes they don't know. The girl that I asked, she had no idea what I was talking about. And I happened to spot it right behind her in the cashiers. And, and I said, it's right there. And she says, where? I said, right there where you see Godzilla. <laughs> so, uh, so, and she looked it up on the computer. They only had three in stock. So, yeah, you really have to get in there. So, check it out if you're interested. Godzilla! Anyway, uh, so that's it uh, for my haul for this haul. We are about a week into November, which means that two weeks from now we got Thanksgiving, and you know that the day after that is the Black Friday sale, so I'm sure we'll all be putting up videos on what our hauls will be from that. Uh, so looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys. Uh, maybe I'll put something up before, maybe not, I'm not sure. But uh, I will see you guys whenever. Okay, bye. <laughs>